Hello, welcome to Primer and Coast Terminology Tuesday, where I cover the uh, different terminology that can be confusing to new firearms owners. And um, something that I probably should have started with before, but I'm going to cover um, over the next couple weeks the um, different rules of firearm safety. So depending on who, where you get your information, there's usually three or four. The one that I'm going to start with today, um, the way I explain it to new shooters when I'm kind of teaching people and getting them used to it is never point a gun at anything you don't intend to destroy. So, um, and I, I like that word destroy because I think it gives the seriousness of this. Um, for instance, this is a 9mm. If I have a 124 grain projectile in here, it's leaving the barrel at 1,000 feet per second. That's a lot of energy, and um, especially when you're up close to it, if that hits something, whether it's us, whether it's a wall, whether it's a TV, whether it's, you know, whatever it is, um, a lot of damage can be done, <clears throat> including, you know, loss of life. So um, with that, the important thing, and, and muzzle control is what we, we typically call it, it, it's being aware of where this muzzle is pointed. When I've got new people I'm kind of teaching, um, I make them, I kind of have, try to have them imagine that out of the end of this barrel is a laser, like a lightsaber laser. Anywhere that that laser would go, and this goes on for infinity, anywhere that laser goes, it, it leaves a cut, it leaves, you know, it just destroys. So if you had a lightsaber like that, you probably wouldn't sweep it past your foot because now you, now you don't have a foot or... Um, you wouldn't sweep it past your hand. These are, uh, especially with a pistol, these are really easy things to do. Um, you'll see people when they draw this this other hand, if you don't, now, now I have a habit of, you know, bringing it up to my chest or um, depending on the situation, you're bringing it over on this side. But the people have this hand out there and they're drawing up and they're actually drawing past their hand. You know, their, mu their hand is passing in front of that muzzle. Um, so now even though I have this gun, you know, I visually check that it's empty. I can put my finger in there, know that it's not empty. I'm still not going to put my hand in front of it because I never point a gun at anything I don't want to destroy. Um, foot is another one. You know, when, you're, when you go to holster, you can sweep your foot. Um, you'll see people, especially holstering, they kind of dig it into the, the holster sideways. You know, so now we're, we're pointing at our side, and uh, especially in our leg, we've got femoral arteries. Um, we have the femoral artery. We have a lot of things that, you know, on our body we don't want to put a bullet through. So, you know, keeping the gun parallel or as close to our body so that we're minimizing that um, it is important. So um, if you're a new shooter, especially if you're starting on with a pistol, um, long guns, these rules still apply. They tend to be a little bit easier. It's harder to sweep your hands, for instance, with a long gun because most of them in the barrel, you would really have to try to, to reach out there. But um, pistol is a really easy one. So if you're new with a pistol... Um, maybe when you're out in the range, you know, you've got it unboxed and, um, you know, pay attention. Uh, if you have a safe area, like um, I'm in my basement right now, there's, there's solid walls, concrete. So if, if something were to happen, I would have an ND. It would be contained, you know, short of hearing or ricochet. There wouldn't be an issue with like a bullet going through a wall and hitting someone else. But um, like right now, there's family above me. And so I'm not going to point the gun up at the ceiling for any reason. But um, you can kind of practice, you know, hold the gun, um, just, just get used to handling it and paying attention consciously to where your muzzle's pointed at. When I take it out of my hand like this, when, I, when I'm holding it, when I'm doing different things, where's that pointed? Well, you don't want to ever forget about that. As you become more comfortable with guns, some of this because like a subconscious habit. You know, I've been in gun stores looking at a gun, you know, kind of holding it like this. And someone goes to walk in between me and, you know, like right in front of me. And just unconsciously, I'll actually tip the gun down. Because, you know, my periphery, I see this person walking. I know where my muzzle's pointed without putting much thought into it. And naturally, I'm just going to, you know, move the gun down and out of the way. So these are all things that when you're new, you don't have that. It, it takes time and experience to um, do that. But as you get more experience... Um, you just get used to it, so um, really handling it in a safe environment, in a safe way, is, is one of the easiest ways to do that. So um, I hope that helps. Uh, over the next couple of weeks, I'll be talking about some of the other rules of firearm safety, the other uh, four or other three. 
And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or send us a private message, an email or whatever. I hope to see you out in the range.